uh, my name's Robert. I'm a pretty laid back, well, Robert Sims. But, you know, I'm a pretty laid back guy, you know, outside of boxing. I really don't do too much. Homebody, you know, family guy, you know, kind of like, you know, I'd rather go bowling and do anything else. Uh, I think this would be 14 years now. Yep, I did four as an amateur and I'm 12 years in that pro. Oh, it feels great. You know, this last year was a really hard year. You know, I had some issue, you know, issues. I had a knee surgery I had to get taken care of, which kept me out for six to eight months. And when I got back in training, my son, he got sick. You know, he had an issue where he had to get a couple brain surgery, you know, to do some stuff. So right after that, you know, I got back into boxing and then the call came shortly after for us to get a fight. But yeah, it's been been a long year. You know, it's been a long time waiting to get back in there. Um, really, <laughs> crazy story, I really was just trying to get in the gym to lose some weight. I never ever tried to box, I never wanted to box, it wasn't something I grew up wanting to do. But uh, I got to training, my cousin brought me in and brought me to his dad, uh, Jesse Addison, and Lorenzo was the one who I talked to first, Lorenzo Reynolds. And once we got all that squared away, I came to the gym, I was just training, he put me in the ring to spire. Uh, I took a beating <laughs> the first couple times and I kept coming back, kept coming back. And finally he was like, do you want to do the golden gloves? I paused and then I did it. And uh, looking back now was the best thing to happen. I wound up winning the whole tournament. So that was a good thing, you know, that happened to me and that brought me into the sport. That was my we're coming out party. I get a great feeling, you know, the, the feeling from the fans, you know, whether good or bad, <laughs> all of it, you know, the ability to be able to still be in a sport where I can give 100% and I can still have my family around. I can still, you know, you know, we only have to fight one night, you know, you know, probably three or four times a year. So, you know, you get a lot more time to be around the people you love. So that's why I love the sport. It gives me an opportunity to be around the people I love while I'm training and, you know, before and after fights. Uh, I'm not going to give it up right now. <laughs> I'll let you guys know after the fight because it's the same thing that I'm going to tell you. It's going to be the same plan that's going to be implemented during the fight. But just know it's going to be a very, very tricky style for him. Feels great. It feels great to be finally nationally televised. I fought on a few uh, pay-per-view cards. You know, I did some pre-fights for Showtime and stuff like that. But to be on a national stage where people could just tune in, you know, you have to pay to tune in or any of that, that's the best part of it, you know. Now, I'm not going to be nervous because, like I said, I've seen the cameras in the corner before. So it's not going to scare me to just see a, you know, a person standing there with a camera. It's just going to say ESPN on it this time. Uh, I just want everybody to tune in on that night. You know, it's going to be a great fight that night. Everything is going to be go the way it's supposed to. I'm going to put on a show and win or lose. Just know I'm going to give 100 percent.